Now let's take a closer look at the graphics architecture. An important characteristic of the architecture is the balance between media processing and 3D acceleration features. On the 3D front, there are new features that speed vertex, Z, and pixel texel throughput. And the redesigned execution units significantly increase instructions per cycle for shader and transcendental instructions. Combined, these enhancements enable faster rendering and more complex shading for more responsive and realistic 3D gaming. The performance improvements also extend to media processing, where you can now enjoy better than real-time HD encoding, full-frame Blu-ray playback, stereo 3D video playback, and more. The processor cores and graphics share some of Intel's adaptive power efficiency and performance features. For example, the graphics includes a new dynamic frequency feature that works together with next-generation Intel TurboBoost technology. These innovations continually monitor processing demand on the processor cores and graphics. If a compute-intensive task requires high demand for processor cores and the chip is running below its operating capacity, next-generation Intel TurboBoost technology dynamically increases the processor's clock frequency to accelerate performance. Similarly, if a graphics-intensive task is running, the dynamic frequency feature can boost the graphics clock speed to meet the greater demand. And when overall processing demands are low, the entire chip can drop to a low-power idle state to conserve energy. The single-chip design also enables the processor cores and processor graphics to share resources and capabilities, such as a shared high-performance last-level cache that speeds performance of traditional tasks and graphics tasks.